Hey there YouTube, it's Meet for Wilderness. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the first of this month's Korean toy reviews. And today I have got the last mould of the uh, Metal Carbot toy line. 12 out of 12. And uh, yeah, so let's get this uh, this final guy done and dusted. And then I've got all the all 12 characters from the show, from the toy line. Yeah, let's, 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 let's put stick a fork in this thing. Right. So yeah, like I said, this is the final character from the Metal Carbot toy line. He did make an appearance earlier in the season, but he didn't actually get captured by Jun, the uh, the main you know kid protagonist until the very last, the very final episode. So uh, yeah, there was that like, this big battle at the the, the bath, you know, the back end, well, the the, the the finale of the show in the final episode. Um, Jun and all the, uh, the the metal bot, the metal bots went went out to to battle. Um, heavy iron um, they tried their best they all got beat down and then there was a big power up um, Jun you know what started sparkling and uh, then uh, uh, Blue Cop got you know, all the powers of the other you know card bots combined and gave Blue Cop a massive great you know sort of ultimate power up and uh, there is a 13th figure in the line that uh, represents this 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 powered up version he, he did for the final battle, but uh, I'm not buying it because I've got the original mold and I'm not buying the mold twice, even if it's like got a load of extra extra accessories and a few a few different uh, molding improvements and well well aesthetic mold improvements and a, and a, a bit of a bit of a swanky paint job. No, I'm not I'm not bothering with that. Anyway, so the last box in the line here's his box. So. Metal Carbot, Heavy Iron, um, he's a big mama jammer, I mean there's uh, Jun and uh, Heavy Iron, and again on the back you've got Heavy Iron showing his robot mode and his, his, his alt mode, and there's his robot mode, and obviously you've got all the usual product information on the back, it's, it's a very big box, this, this guy is a very big figure, a lot of plastic, he's very very big, chunky and heavy, and uh, so he's, he's like the, the, the primo sort of toy in the line. Comes with, obviously, the uh, the metal card with his um, you know, weapon on the back. Um, on this guy, his metal card forms a, a chest piece which plugs onto his chest. And then he can, using that, he can launch his ultimate attack, which is called, what is it, a heavy cannon or something like that. Um, but anyway, there's his, his card and obviously... The card comes off and then you've got the the uh, the card weapon underneath so now alt mode <sighs> here he is <laughs> so he's a truck and trailer um when you when we first meet him his his ship is hurtling towards earth but it splits into two parts one part sort of crashes in the city the other you know lands in the ocean um it's a an, one of the early episodes all the the car bots, you know, band together to deflect one of these missiles, um, but then they 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 find that it's they find this, they find a heavy iron's trailer, and uh, so they decide to recover it. But they know that uh, heavy iron is coming after it. So there's a, there's another episode where you know they're, they're going along and uh, they have a bit of a, a bit of a standoff where heavy iron's you know he's coming after the trailer. They're trying to def you know defend it, but uh, he just even in his truck mode, he just blows past all the uh, the, the, the metal car bots, and then eventually he, he uh, they hide his um, trailer in the tunnel, and then he, he goes into the tunnel, and then he, he combines and comes out, and he's virtually invincible. You know, he's so big, so hard. You know, they're trying everything, and it's only at that moment that um, a wild guard he comes in and whoosh, slashes him and uh, does damage to him, and then it allows them to escape. But uh, anyway. <laughs> Here's his alt mode. As you can see, it's a big ass truck and trailer. It's got the rotational cab. Now, it's kind of a bit like Power Master Optimus Prime, a bit like that, because obviously the trailer becomes his legs and the arms for the robot mode, and the the cab just becomes the torso and the head. So yeah, he's he's a bit um. It's a bit, a bit like, bit you know, a bit like Power Master Prime, Prime in that regard. Um, but anyway, 
Got some uh, nice um, design details, very butch looking truck. He's got like the big angry eyes in the windscreen. Uh, he's got smokestacks. Got, uh, I assume they're pinned wheels. It's hard to tell, but uh, it's got decent molded detail and it's got some nice detail marks on the trailer. And uh, it has a peg and a port in the back. It just, just plugs on and then you know, you can just you can just drive around. Um, scale wise, um, this uh, this truck is um, it's a bit small when you compare it with some of the other vehicles in the line. But when he's in robot mode, he is he is very large, and uh, I think scale wise in robot mode, he he does scale reasonably well in robot mode. He probably could have done with being a little bit bigger in that regard, but. I think the scale they they've compromised on on you know the scale of the uh, alt mode to the, the scale of the robot quite well so yeah anyway right we're still going yeah so there's not much more you can say about the truck mode it's big it's heavy it's a truck with a trailer All right so um like I said the, the the truck cab on its own like I said I've shown a few details on it it's got headlights it's got grills. He's got the angry eyes. He's got lights, you know, marker lights on the top. Bit of a uh, detail on the side. He's got wheels. He's got a uh, fuel tank. He's got tail lights. Um, there's his robot mode head just nestling in the back there. But he's got the smokestacks. Pretty clean looking truck mode. But uh, transformation on this guy is pretty straightforward. Um, also, um, now... I suppose some people will be expecting me to do a size comparison between this guy and all the other, you know, car bots in the line. I'm not doing that. Sorry. Um, I've got all the car bots here in their robot mode ready to do the size comparison in robot mode. I am not going through the palaver of transforming them all into alt mode just for that size comparison and then transforming them back again for the other size comparison. I ain't doing it. Um, one size comparison is enough. But uh, he does, like I said, the scale-wise to the other um, alt modes, maybe there's some slight scale discrepancies, but apart from that, he's, he's not too bad. So, anyway, transformation. Right, so the trailer, basically, to start off, you just pull it apart. Now, starting with the legs, you've got these little flaps that come down there. Split that. You then um, flip these things round and then just collapse the legs a little bit and that puts the heel spurs into place and uh, there's his legs. The top part again splits in half you've got um, weapon storage in between so you've got his uh, energy sword which uh, stores in between. Then this thing, basically what you do, there's this little red thing that folds up there. You've then got, got the, roll the fist out and then collapse that. And then this thing, the arm, there's a, a slide in here. Oh, it's got a slide. So what you have to do on this slide is you have to sort of slide this across like so and then and you uh, do that. Let's do that again. Right, so curl out the hand, shut that, then um, slide this thing across bring that back and there's there's an arm so now we've got a pair of arms we just need a torso to attach them to so truck cab legs big port square hole plug that onto there so now we've got a, a, a truck going for a walk then you've got the, the sort of the side panels bring them to the front 
and plug them together to form his chest plate like so then you've got the uh, smoke sacks come forward and then you've got the head is on a, a double jointed link so you bring that back like that fold this up this then clicks into place oh yeah I've forgotten something yeah you've got to fold these bits out like so there we go then you fold this thing up then you put the head down and then finally you attach the arms they're just on a sliding joint I just slide into place like so and there we go there we have heavy iron in his robot mode and he's <laughs> looks quite impressive um quite simple transformation parts for marine nature obviously you know you, you just break the trailer apart separate it into its bits move a few bits around and then just just plug everything together fairly straightforward he looks cool um, he's got a, a lot of nice colours going on. He's got like the, got the red and the dark blue, and there's the uh, the light silver, and some bits of black. He's uh, quite a mean looking uh, mother. Kind of looks like Delta Magnus uh, in his um, in his uh, robot mode, kind of because he's got like the big the big shoulders and the the, the red and blue um, paint scheme. So yeah, he looks kind of cool got this big sort of V chevron chest plate um, very in intimidating head he's got those now in the show he's got like solid yellow eyes and it isn't until he gets captured at the end that he's, he's you know, the, the pupil dots actually appear in his eyes but usually they're, they're just just pure yellow eyes but they've given him blue eyes here which is a bit strange if they had done the eyes yellow that probably would have been more screen accurate but when do they care about screen accuracy <laughs> but uh, on paint work on Korean toys um yeah so he's he's big and he's making my arm hurt just holding him up so right size comparison i've got all the other metal car bots here for size comparison's sake right so starting with blue cop and this is the guy that fights this guy fights this guy in the final battle but he gets like a massive power up he gets like a like a super power of armor to fight him and it's it's quite an impressive uh, shot oh i've missed something uh, yeah his little pp was sticking out the the the, the peg for the, uh, the the trailer mode it's in a very infor unfortunate place <laughs> if you don't uh, put it down it looks like he's uh, very pleased to see you um right so yeah as you can see size comparison yeah <laughs> he's a big boy he's the biggest spot in the line but then again, Blue Copy is one of the smallest. Right, so now we've got Mega Trucker. Again, bigger than Mega Trucker. Well, he's going to be bigger than all these figures, but it's just a question of how much. Then Mega Ambler. So Mega Ambler about comes up to his waist. Phoenix Fire. Yep. Now the smallest dude, uh, Shadow X. Now he looks really small. He barely comes up to his knees. And Dexter, I keep, <laughs> I keep, st I'm used to holding these things up, up, up at this level, but by holding this thing up, you, you know, he goes out a shot. So I've got to be careful here. So yeah, there's that. Now he is a, is a big boy. Fleeter Z, so he turns into a jet airliner. So he's quite, but he's quite big. <clears throat> And then the guy that actually gives him the uh, who actually gives him the beat down in his debut episode, 
Wild Guardy. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Hard to believe that this guy actually gets the better of this guy just by doing one of his wide slashes across his chest. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Then the pirate crew. <sighs> Buffalo Crush. Buster Gallon. And finally, Black Hook. Now, there is another episode where Black Hook actually comes after Heavy Iron, and they're having a bit of a bit of a battle in a, in a, in a junkyard, and then um, Jonas sort, of, sort of gets in the way, and and they both launch their ultimate attacks at each other. You know, like Captain Jack Cannon and Heavy Cannon. They 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 meet in the middle and basically causes like a mini nuclear explosion. It's like absolutely enormous boom. Um, yeah. So these guys, they do. They do are capable of fighting one another toe to toe. So yeah, there he is. There's the size comparisons with all the other bots. Like I said, I didn't want to do it in alt mode because it would have meant too much transforming backwards and forwards. He's, he's a, a big bot. And like I said, I've been holding this guy up for so long. I'm, I'm, my, my arm and my shoulder's getting really tired. Right, so so let's, let's stick a fork in this review. All right, um, articulation. Um, he hasn't got a lot, unfortunately. Um, got a head rotation it's on a ball joint so you get a bit of bit of twist a little bit of forwards and backwards and and uh, it, it will go all the way around shoulders go all the way around that way they only come out that far so you get two clicks out and then you get one click for the uh, elbow no bicep swivel does have a waist joint though Hips, forwards, back, outwards. Now he's got um, five swivel below the knee. Don't know why. Um, so it's not a proper five swivel, is it? Because it sits below the knee. Um, legs go back that far they don't quite go to 90 because there's uh, clearance issues hitting these uh, bits here and there's nothing at the feet so yeah he's not the most articulated chap unfortunately very restricted in the arms and elbows again got restrictions on the legs <sighs> he's not fa he's not fantastic uh, you know not fantastically articulated he is a big chunky boy and uh, a lot of chunk, you know, a lot of the bits, they do sort of get in the way of each other. And that's why, you know, because this, there's a, you can see there that that's hitting that. That's why that only goes out that far. And then when this comes for when the arm comes forward, it, it all this clouts around here. So he's got clearance issues on a lot of his limbs, which restricts his articulation, which is, which is, sad really it's, it's 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 not great but he's a big heavy boy and he's a lot of bot and he is kind of expensive but the price of the metal car bot toys in general is pretty good but they're not you know they're not um how can i put this they're not as big or i don't get i think don't think you get as much value for money for them in in terms of their size you know compared to other you know, Korean figures you can buy, or I have bought. Uh, one of the size comparison I want to do, obviously, before I sign off. How does he compare to the Megatron? So yeah, he is bigger than a leader class bot. So that's something. Right, uh, so a couple of things just to finish off. Um, his accessory, um, it will plug on either arm. Like that, and then it'll plug on the other arm as well. The blade is going, it's flat, it's not like that, it's the blade's going the wrong way. Um, you can't turn his arm or anything, so 
that's disappointing again you know could have done better there and then the final thing is his, his card weapon so basically you fold it in half fold out the wings flip up the the little tips and then there's these little things that fold out the bottom it kind of looks like a space invader <laughs> Pew, 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 pew. It does. It does. It kind of looks like a space invader. Um, but uh, there's these two ports on the chest. It just plugs on, and there we have the finished article with his card weapon. It um, it suits it. You know, it sticks out a country mile from his chest. Um, but you know, when you're looking at him from the front, it doesn't look. It, it fit, fits in well with the rest of his sort of like you know uh, color aesthetic quite well. And he can do his massive attack where he shoots a massive like dark red beam out of this thing's like heavy cannon and brrr. it's like a like a it's like a hyper beam basically from pokemon you know it's 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 like that um like i said i i i, I was quite impressed with this line when i first got into it and i wanted to get all the characters from the line and i've done it i've got all 12 of the main characters yes there is a 13th figure which is just it's just a just a slightly repainted retool version of this which i'm not really that bothered about um but you know the, the, the show is free to watch on youtube um the sam g channel they do live streams of the show where they they show all 26 episodes back to back the episodes are only like 10 minutes long so but it's a, it's a good show it's a good watch i could fully recommend it hopefully we will get an english dub maybe next year of season one uh, season two is on the way. Season two might hit, you know, Korea before the end of the year. Um, the leaks are starting to come out now. There's um, uh, uh, there's pictures of a new character for season two. It's basically a retool of this guy. Um, he, he's, yeah, basically a retool of this guy. Um, but he looks quite interesting. Um, there's also uh, pictures surfaced of a, a new version of um, Blue Cop, but it looks like it might be a brand new mold that's slightly bigger than the original, which is saying something, because, like I said, this guy is, uh, <laughs> you know, he's very, he, he's very small. <laughs> he's very small. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's that's my review of, you know, Metal Carbot Heavy Iron. It's my final review of the uh, the metal carbot toy line because i've got all the figures and i've done all the reviews so uh yeah um if you've been interested by you know seeing what i've got you can go on to ebay or g market or 11th street and, and buy these figures i think there they are being re they are being these molds have been reissued in china under a, a chinese brand and you can buy them off you know the usual sort of chinese sites Maybe a little bit cheaper than getting the Korean originals, I suppose. Um, so, they are out there. Um, the build quality is great on them. They're nice and colourful. Not the most articulated things. Some of the figures are kind of small. I, I kind of like the card weapon, the way it's different from each each character. And, uh, yeah, they... Uh, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good show. It's a good toy line. You know, I got into it and uh, that is that. <sighs> so, that's been my review of... Uh, um, Metal Carbot uh, Heavy Iron, the last figure in the line, 12 of 12. And uh, yeah, and uh, I'd like to end this video now because you know, you've seen the review and uh, it's a bit warm <laughs> today. 26 degrees centigrade or about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, that's a bit on the uncomfortable and sticky side for me. So, right, that's it. I've been to you for wellness. Next week I've got another Korean figure to review for you. So hopefully I'll see you then. Ta-da.